Hello, and welcome to Date Night. I'm Chorps Away. And I'm Devious Vacuum. <laughs> and you are the stars. Oh my, oh my god. Welcome back. What, what, what about this? What are you... <laughs> what, what, what's, the, how, what's the problem How here? deep into the barrel <laughs> did you have to reach for Avi Viderci? <laughs> oh, that, one, that, that was actually the easiest part of this entire Oh, was that uh, the, off thing. the top of the dome? That, that, Just was, that, like... one, that, one, that one was divinely given to me. <laughs> I like how you said our bits, like versus like, um, like so that we know that it's our our jokes and not the right. the Twitch bits, which is money. Right. I didn't want anyone to think it was monetarily. Yeah, we would never sell out like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Longmaster's treasury is so deep that he found a smaller bale to reach the bottom of. That's not true. <laughs> Don't own me. But at the at the bottom of the barrel was hope. <laughs> That's right. From Final Fantasy Thirteen. Oh no! He's like, here's this Monster joke, tough. and I was like, thank you. They so are. That's so true. <laughs> Can we get an 07 in chat for moms? <laughs> Mother's Day coming up next month. Right. Think about it. Start thinking. If you gotta buy a present out thank there. Thank you, everyone in chat, for giving me an 07. Um, yeah. Mosey was right. Asked, is our head narrower than the prison bars? No, they just erased part of her prison bar so that we could see her face. And that's she's not beautiful. like fitting her head in because that'd be fucked up. Because that would imply that probably like Eon could just break it open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And thank you, QB, for the 32 months and the 07. Ugh. Wow, that's so. If many there's months. one, if there's the one thing better than saluting the bravest people on earth, women. <laughs> It's giving us money. What have you bought with specifically the money that Cube has given you? What am I going to do with it? What have you bought? Because, I mean, oh, obviously, happened? you've already spent all of it. It happened in the past, right? 32 times $5. What did you, what'd you right. spend that on? I don't know. Uh, we, can, we can just say that the, the, that's, the, that's the QB paying back to date night, buying video games funds. Yeah. Went back to the games. That's right. Did not, not like a, you know, a... A manga edition that right. you've been you've been eyeballing. You never you never embezzle date night Not money like that. Money. Yeah, you're all, you're always investing yeah, it back I, in I the business. I have my separate bank account for, for <laughs> date night. <laughs> Very empty. Please help me. Every, everybody, all the other, all the rest of you though, if you subscribe, that goes to me buying anime figurines. Actually, That's right. trying yeah, to work that goes my way to up. To finally get the Yumiko Jabami figure from uh, Kakegurui. Yeah. Longline <laughs> says you spent it on the Panera lemonade that kills you. Sorry, I'm still <laughs> hung up on that bit. That's a good bit. Uh, I think sorry, I'm still hung up on that bit is another one of our date night classic catchphrases. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Saw something Saw something great today from our friends over at Footy Scram. Oh, no. What did you see? Let me pull it up real quick. So this is, so oh, no. they, were, they were responding to an announcement from the MLB official Twitter mm. account. The Pirates have a new food item called the Renegade. Are you ready for this? The Renegade. Okay. Well, I got to think of like what, what, what makes what, me okay, think of a Renegade all, what do you think it is? food? It sounds like a hamburger. Okay. You're, you're, you're not right, but you're not like that <laughs> far off. Okay. Um, it's a is it a... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, you can go. Let's oh, I was going to say, is it a is it a bacon-wrapped hot dog? It is a hot dog, but it is not bacon-wrapped. It is it is okay. much more uh, elaborate. Okay. Is it like a spiralized hot dog? <laughs> no. It's got Damn. a number of toppings on it. What's it got? It's a foot-long hot dog topped with potato pierogies, pot roast, pickles, and onions. Wow, so just all like better food than the hot dog you're gonna reach when you finish eating all of that. Yeah, and then note from Footy Screen afterwards, more time in the toilets than watching the game. <laughs> True. <laughs> I love the idea of like a restaurant, like like has like huge portions, like, you know, very American, um, mm -hmm. where they give you like a pile of fries and a pile of like chicken tenders and sauce and shit. And then you get to the bottom and there's a single hot dog that's been under there the whole time. Oh, that's cool. Um, that reminds <laughs> me of the, it's like the, what they do at the five guys, right? They just fill your bag full of fucking fries. Ah, yes. Except at the bottom, 
Except it's at the a bottom hot dog. is a hot dog instead of a hamburger. At the, at the bottom of the barrel, there was hope. <laughs> there was a smaller barrel that had a hamburger inside. Uh, that's beautiful. Since there's a hot dog covered in other food, sounds like that Indian pizza that's covered in other American food. Oh, they do they do that with pizza in a lot of places, don't they? Like, the Brazilian pizzas are, like, fucked up and have, like, a whole meal on top of them. Oh, well, there's that cool Japanese pizza where all of the crusts are actually a hamburger. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's American, for sure. That's what America loves. Just America loves when instead you know, of eating one food, you can eat two foods. Oh, yeah. Three, four, even. You know, yeah. we love the turducken. Oh. Turducken, the America's national bird. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's freedom, says Sid. That is freedom. The freedom to eat a bunch of food. And you know at the what else time. is freedom? Busting getting, out of are, the combat arena. That's yeah. That's right. And getting back to this, the important stuff. Yeah. Romance. That's right. What do we what do we give him in return for his devotion and kiss? Right, one of these. <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, right, anyway, a beautiful so love story time. unfolds tonight. So last time we made it to we made it to uh to, to here. Sorry, I like I just thought about what happened in this and I just like lost my mind. <laughs> yeah, we um, were having such a good time and then we remembered what happened. Yeah, so last time we made it to to the town only to find out that in the, in the interim since Eon ran away with mm -hmm. Avi and we had to follow them along Avi has kidnapped um Roddy and Vilio and Pascalia and basically as part of his elaborate scheme to get everyone into the underground arena where he'll kill them all or whatever we still don't exactly know his full plan very excited to learn what he was thinking um he was forcing Eon to kill his friend <laughs> Yeah, like, very, like, we're kind of losing the plot here with Avi. We had an idea of what bit. his motivation was, and I now it feels like it's just... I think that's still not incorrect. We just haven't gotten to the part where he tells us why he's doing things. Yeah. He's been very secretive I... about it. I have the feeling it's not going to justify what he did. <laughs> no, but I think it is going to be epic. Like, I think I'm going to agree with him well... still and just go, like, well, this clearly wasn't justified. Like, I think that that was always the plan is he was never going to be justified in his actions, but he was going to be correct in why he wanted to do these things. Yeah, I think his, yeah, absolutely. He's very valid in, in his trauma response to yeah. everything being kind of glossed over. I don't know why anyone in this fucking kingdom knows about handling things with, with like, grace with and grace. tact. Yeah. It never got taught. Uh, tact is a magical item. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's just one and yeah. only. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's called a race. Uh, <laughs> but um, God. yeah, I think after because then after the fights, right? So we we broke Pascalia out and we gave Eon the hope to keep continuing. And Pascalia forward. got the shit beat out of him. Pascalia fucking basically almost died. Um, but so then they get to the underground arena fight. It's uh, Vilio versus Eon, and they're just kind of like. Vilio's kind of playing playing around. He's like playing with his food a little bit. He's just like, nope, we're just going to keep fighting forever. I'm just going to keep dodging and you're going to keep dodging too. And mm -hmm. then the rest of Circus fucking hijacks the show and ultimately makes uh, everyone distracted and like pseudo floods the Flood underground the arena theater, to get everyone yeah. out so that, that they can tackle Avi and kidnap him so that they can figure yeah. out he did what he did. They just grab him. Like they just like, gotcha. Like, well, two <laughs> people wasn't... tackled him and un yeah. well, to be fair, Eon was still in the cage. Mm -hmm. So who was going to protect him? Let's find out. There were no there were no cool moves to capture Avi. It was just like normal moves. No. All right, time to find out. Are we gonna watch the purge? I hope we get you another version of the, the cool movie, move. The purge? I hope we get mm -hmm. to see the cool move that um, Eon did back in uh, Cultura. You remember that where he did like that sick kick? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Hope they show that again. <laughs> Mosey Rice says the game is playing very coy with Vilio's power level. It makes me wonder what goes down on his route. I think we were talking about that yeah. last time as well. Vilio's um, the Dragon Prince. He's absolutely the most powerful. Like, it seems like the implication is he's the most powerful dragon. Period, which probably makes him the most powerful entity on Earth. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
100. And that's why he's so carefree and so like, well, this was a fun experience because he's immortal and um, <laughs> well, maybe not like, immortal, but certainly can't... he's like hard to kill. Yeah, he's resilient. He's extremely powerful, so he doesn't need to take anything seriously. Yeah. Oh, okay, so here we're figuring out how the flooding worked. They talked to a water spirit. There's one just hiding in here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. You know what, I will say one nice thing about this one, though, is that, um, not under constant threat of Colovis being murdered by an adult man. Yes. Colovis That's been a nice change of pace. They did have the grace intact to not have Colovis be involved in any of the combat. Yeah. Oh, you got it, old dude. I would be, like, executed by the state immediately, because that's how I'd talk to Cola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got he it, like dude. It. He would like it. Everyone yeah. else would get mad, though. Yeah. Fuck, what's his name? Aleste? Yeah. Yeah, he would, he would fucking hate it. Oh yeah, he'd be so mad that you called the prince little dude. But yeah, he's such a little every, dude! He's every, such a little every, guy! Every time I do it over the, the magic cup phone, he'd just shatter the glass in his hand because he's so pissed. <laughs> oh my god, speaking of little dudes and little guys, my baby cousin just got into college. Congratulations! He got his acceptance letter. I got texted about it last night, so I'm excited for him. And he's close enough that I work... I didn't get to visit my other baby cousin when he was in college because of the pandemic, but I'm gonna get to visit this baby cousin because he's within driving distance of us. Hell so yeah. I'm I'm very happy for that. I'm excited to spend time with them. Also, rising the earth spirits to create an aqueduct for the water spirits to be able to travel. Nice. Also, my my baby cousins are large adult men now. They're like super muscular and both over six feet tall, and they like extreme. Sorry, sports, if anyone's like three months younger babies. than you, they're a baby. So they're babies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just Jarv Jarv's way his baby to me, actually. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're baby to our whole audience, though, so don't worry about that. <laughs> That's right. I'm the baby. Gotta love me. <laughs> yeah, we all love you. Yeah, I'm the mascot that everyone hates. <laughs> I'm like Poochie. <laughs> oh no. It's tough, you know, like, sometimes people who are, like, 25 are other adults to me, and sometimes they're babies, and I just, you never know what's gonna happen. Every time this part of the song comes on, I'm just like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, this rules. The fucking, like, wild ass, like, synth solo. Yeah. Je <laughs> who did this? I think this okay. is just what's playing in did, Roddy's did I... mind all the time. <laughs> I think I think Roddy would be going through sort of a Lupin-esque escape sequence to this music. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Like this is how he escaped from prison. Oh, threw him in the water. I guess that would reduce his power because of the fire. I get yeah. Ugh, you know what they say? God bless the ring. <laughs> oh no. Hibariaka. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are we gonna get to are we gonna get to hug him? I you know that that would be my guess, but I'm double checking because I never I feel like usually our um, our instincts are pretty on point when it comes to this sort of stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, better better safe than sorry. 
Yeah, surprise death. Oh my gosh, if we accidentally got a bad ending where right, we got killed right in now, this game, of all time. I'd I'd cry. I'd be so so upset. <laughs> we hugged him so hard that his mental facilities and <laughs> faculties have just gone into overdrive. That's what happens when a girl likes you. True. <laughs> When girl likes you, mental health equals 100. <laughs> it says knees weak, arms heavy. Right. <laughs> this one girl? Oh my god, he's paralyzed such that he can't look down because of the magic sword circuiting. Yeah. I wonder it's if so are... important that he's saying our name. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if it's hard. Um, or if like the the scenario is like, if you, I know that they probably aren't going to go into this too much. I wonder if based on that response, like if he's mind controlled too long, because clearly he's under he's been under mind control a lot from Avi. Like it it affects your your mental faculties, you know. Yeah, I think you would have a uh, dissociation. Yeah. Issues. Like it would really fuck you up. I know they're not going to go into that, but I'm thinking about it now. Yeah. Girl. Mochironda. Hontoni Kite Kretandana. Nakamatach Totomana. Kikenda to it danoni. Matak. <laughs> oh no, Vilio! I forgot he got a little too tricky and he got he got hit. But also apparently it's really bad, very funny. Well that's not gonna fix that much blood. So funny though, it's just like I am bleeding out. Please help me. <laughs> it's great. He's just lying flat on his back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, obviously. Um, oh shit! He's got he's got brass knuckles. Sort of. Classic merchant behavior. They're, they're, obviously, they're, Eon's got to fight him. They're like brass claws, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so he really hasn't been mind controlling her. Yeah. Which we That's understand why. makes sense because he's got to split his concentration the more yeah. people he's controlling. Yeah, plus it makes sense. It's just like, oh yeah, until now she was just like, yeah, Avi is my... Effectively, effectively, Avi is the dad who stepped up. <laughs> yeah. Sid says Luna, only Roddy is a bad guy. <laughs> I mean, that's a judgment of character instead of action, you know.
Oh no, they failed. <laughs> Damn. Damning indictment of these characters. <laughs> He's gonna die before we ever find out what he is really doing, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> he does have the dromy eyes. やってくれたな、お前ら。さあ、カスカ。you had to let him grow past his trauma. <laughs> Me, I bathed in it. Oh, here we go, here we go. I don't know if he can see him. True. That's true. As Antifalia starts doing uh, slide kicks to escape him. <laughs> yeah, right she starts legs. doing Dark Souls rolling dodges. Yeah, Castlevania back steps. <laughs> I feel like Luna can probably do Castlevania back steps. Oh, for sure. Based on her outfit. God, that'd be so cool. She started doing slides. Roddy would be able to double jump. True. Only as a dog, though. Yeah. And then he'd be like... Oh, oh did he hit himself? Did oh, he, no! Did, was he able to mind control get control enough that he stabbed himself? Oh, no! That's how this sounds, right? It does! Ah! Um... Vilia would have power of flight like Bat. Uh, Pascali would have form of mist. All the famous Castlevania powers. Right, of course. <laughs> Wamakar says, who's the dog? Roddy, keep up. Yeah. <laughs> How many streams have we been doing? Uh, what happened? Are we gonna see a fucked up scene? Well, it, it doesn't want to show any blood, so... We're gonna get a CG with it, though. They'll probably describe if he impaled himself or whatever, but will not show it. I'm assuming he like stabbed himself in the foot or something. Whoa! Oh! Uh. Holy shit! Do you ever you, do you know about the the like medieval? I don't remember the the name of the the technique, but where you would grab the sword by the blade. And use uh -huh. it as a weapon that, like, a clubbing weapon. Because swords were so shit that it would be easier to beat someone to death with the handle instead <laughs> yeah. of with, yeah. with the sword. <laughs> I'm just yeah. thinking about that now, because this is fucked up. 
Mordhammer, thank you. I was sure, sure someone was going to know. I guess you've never been in love, Avi. He's literally, uh, it is though. He's gonna be like, whatever. He gives up there. Says the power of love, it's a curious thing. かつての I had a support network. Avi, have you... Avi, I know that they don't have exist here in Ferris. Have you considered a therapist? Yeah. Though? Yeah. There's no way there are any therapists in Ferris. Or but, support networks. Yeah. You'd have to, like, move or hire one from, like, outside. Your hand's, like, covered in blood. This is... Yeah, just the one arm right yeah, now. Yeah, please. Can, can it be one arm? Noroinikusenu I need to read what Sid is writing, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you can't advance the dialogue while I'm reading because it's too stupid. Ian, the reason is that we're Sonic heroes, Avi, but I'm your Knuckles, and Luna is your Tails. Eon, I have a new Knuckles and Tails now. Also, Luna is obviously Blaze. I see that now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Losing my mind. We all know that Tefali is Tails, and my girlfriend. Tefali has Amy Rose. Wait, then the Eon is Sonic? I think Vilio is Sonic. Yeah, Vilio is Sonic. I mean, if you if you back out of this, like, Avi and Eon specific conversation, right? Then Eon is Knuckles. Yeah, uh, Avi's like Vector the Crocodile. Because I also think <laughs> he he's hiding something really fucked up and twisted. He is. <laughs> I think Sephora is Shadow. Yeah. Pascalia is Tails, probably. Ginia is Rouge the Bat. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh shit, Luna's talking back now too. Fucking the children will ass. save us. Oi, <laughs> Luna. So, okay, I do like it. <laughs> I really like the implication here that in this time she has oh, already dispatched been... Roddy and Zephora. <laughs> she's been she's been beating them up this whole time. Yeah, yeah there's like, like all the won... while this is happening, there's she like just won that fight. They yeah. weren't able to stop her in any way. Like they weren't gonna fight back, but they couldn't stop her in any way. They got beat to death, and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how great it was when I gave you a Reese's egg. 
for, <laughs> for killing people. <laughs> when I gave you one of the, my Kit Kats. <laughs> Just one of the four. Yeah. I broke you off a piece. Yeah, you get one for every person killed. Sin says the mind control actually stopped, but she kept beating them up. You know what? <laughs> she she deserves it. Both of them deserve to get beat up, also. Yeah, for different reasons. Yeah. Luna, you're 14, of course. I love it when 14-year-olds are like, I didn't understand anything back then. That's the funniest shit ever. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. You adorable. It's adorable. I'm so different now than when I was 12, which was two years ago. No, she's so different than she was when she was 14, which was <laughs> like a day ago. Yeah, I'm so different than I was two weeks ago. Yeah, when you talk to me the first time. Well, yeah, you're a child. No one thinks about this. No, that's not true either. No, Luna. <laughs> Kiwi says teen years are behind me. Right, I'm a, I'm a bigger and better me. I can't wait to be past my tween years. <laughs> Spiritually, we never will be to, here on date night. Right, I'm 12. Man, we're gonna and have I'm to. For, we're gonna and have I'm to. I'm 14, which means yeah. I'm so much older than you. We're gonna have to give therapy to two people on the fly while they're potentially going to become uh, <laughs> uh, gladiator slaves. Size as I. As I. As I <laughs> As I brandish my DSM-5 and start <laughs> flipping through the pages. Okay, let's do this. Let's start at page one. Let's talk about the stages of grief first, because we're going to go through them very fast. Yeah. Let's, um, so this kingdom doesn't have a concept of CPTSD yet, but... No. Tifalia is actually going to like be the first social worker. God, they, they need it, clearly. Nobody else has fucking figured it out. I hope that's, you know what, honestly, I know that that's not going to be, but I hope that's the ending of this route is both uh, Tefali and Eon going to be social workers. <laughs> and then and then they raise Colovis to be, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. compassionate, yeah. First compassionate king ever. We love a compassionate king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you drop this and you give him his crown. I mean, no, he's still there. He's never going to get over it. Whoa! Yeah! Cool CG. Hell yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love the blur effect. Yeah, this is sick. We knew this was going to happen. Who also this theme. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's going to have to die. He I don't want him to die, though. We talked about it. He needs to go to jail. He, he should have to pay for his crimes. I agree. Maybe he won't. I don't think Eon's going to kill him, because Eon's going to be like, I would never kill him. Unless Eon can't kill him. It would, I guess the only scenario I think that this happens is Avi um, dies. He's like, dies by his own hand, right? Or Luna kills him. No, Luna wouldn't do that. I don't think any. I don't think anyone here would kill him. No, except himself. Oh, 
リングの支配下にあるくせにちゃんと動けてるじゃねえか。Oh, shit, he still got ring on? Damn. So he's cheating. He might cut his hand off. That's my prediction. And that would go wild. They'd have to draw another, they'd have to draw another version of him, though. True. Maybe if he cut off like a finger and it's like, oh, he was wearing it on one of the fingers you don't see. <laughs> So it would be like his middle or his pointer finger. They don't draw him with the ring on. Or in his this. thumb, right? Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm just thinking, like, okay, so he's like, that's his left hand, right? So yeah, it's either his mm -hmm. pointer, middle, or、uh, thumb on his left hand. Mm hmm. They can cut that one off, no problem. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, he has brass knuckles, you know? He has little claws. If he had to fight a spear, the spear wins, so. In the background of this,、uh, Vilio is still fucking planking in, the, in a puddle of blood behind yeah, them. The blood's been stopped、up. because of the tanker chip, so. Yeah, it's just the existing, the previous blood. Yeah. <laughs> just some stupid stuff. <laughs> This is how Avi's trying to. Avi's trying to try so hard to like get out of being characterized or have like a justification moment. He's like, I don't want anyone、yeah. to pity me. Yeah. 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 なかったことにしようとしやがったじゃあ俺たちがここで流した血と涙はどこに行ったんだここで死んだ剣闘士は俺の弟は何のために死んだ He's right. Yeah. This was just the worst possible way to go about this. <laughs> Since as Avi, you have to understand. No one in this kingdom is like the last. It's very true. Yeah, Jinya needs to step in and explain this. Jinya can be a social worker too. Yeah, yeah. Ore ga ita katta no wa. Sekai ni shirashime ta katta no wa tatta hito sake. Okay, we're getting it. Oh my, thank God. I was so scared he was gonna die before this happened. Ore ta chiken to shidore wa. Okay, so we were right also. We were just correct. Yeah. We were just correct. Right, yeah. So again, Vilio,、uh, basically, he, he, he lost a lot of blood. Understandable. The other two got beaten up by a 14 year old girl. Yep. God, cool. Oh, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're done for. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, don't say this though. Now he's gonna try to kill us. Tell us, I'm gonna try to kill us. So, 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 I'm gonna try to kill us. Okay, what is it though?、Uh, pull his ponytail. <laughs> is it like is, is it like she supports Eon in some way? Like, I, I'm trying to imagine. It must be something.、Yeah. If if Zephora's route's anything to go by, it's gonna be a lot like the time we had to help hold his hand up because he his hand got so、oh, fucked up trying to hold、yeah. the gun, right? So something like that. But I just don't know what、yeah. it would be. They're gonna do a fusion attack.、Oh, are we just gonna pickpocket him? <laughs> 
Oh, we just jump him. <laughs> they were just like holding onto his back. Fight him. Whoa! Oh, is this trying to spread it so far that the magic doesn't work? Holy shit, this is not what I expected to happen here. Oh my god! Damn, this shit goes crazy! Let's go! This, this is maybe... The most badass twist that could have happened on this one. Let's route. fucking go! <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my. Masaka. I'm just double checking. Did they say. No, where. we don't know where. No, I was here. We don't know where. Like, given her situation, I feel like it could only be somewhere on her face. Cool cheek tattoo. You got the sound effect right on that one. This kicks ass. This is this is actually yeah. good lore. This is a good exploration of the lore yeah. that they've already described. It's like this is my guess. I was like, well, we're fucking testing it now. This this is MythBusters. Yeah. QB says it's on the forehead like Dr. Manhattan, like that. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh oh! <laughs> that spear lined up with the um, right across his neck. Oh, at his throat. <laughs> I misread that for a second. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. And then he died. Oh, he was just like, and then, and then, I thought it was just like, and his the head got cleaved off. Like, damn. <laughs> I'm always saying this. <laughs> I'm always saying this. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Hey, hey, we gotta carry out all of our friends who have been reduced to one HP. Yeah. Mm. Can you carry the two people you beat to death? Yeah, but you need to learn a lesson. Is that you should never judge a book by its cover. Oh my god! Ion is the CEO of this company! He is now. He has the ring. Like in the famous movie, he's the captain now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm better at killing people than you. <laughs> what a funny way to put it. Yeah, I'm a way better murderer than you. Oh, 
教えてくれた人がいるんだこんな自分であっても未来自分にできたことがお前にできないはずがないお前は剣闘士時代からずっと自分より器用だったからなそうだろアビくそ好き勝手言いやがって。It's all the Pikmin coming to pick up <laughs> on me. Prison. <laughs> yeah, they are. The character's too delicate to be in this scene. That's right. Well, they get all wet. Yeah. I like when Junior gets serious. I like that he has the capacity to like be serious and professional, but only exactly when he needs to. Right. <gasps> oh no. Oh, it's on our hand. Yeah. I guess that also makes sense. I was thinking it must have been just based on possession, but hand makes more sense actually. How are we gonna drag him back now? He weighs like twice as much as us. Yeah. Also, when the CG pans out, will it uh, show the water slowly right? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Oh, well. Just like a little bit of water on the ground, mm. seeping into the ring. What, what images do you have that go in the upper left corner? Um, upper left? Yeah. I think it's... I think there's just the one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> right, got that. I don't know if you can answer that. I don't know if you can answer that. It says use the, command, uh, the ring to command yourselves. Yeah, could you like force yourself through your exhaustion by just mind controlling yourself? <laughs> I think that's one of the guys from Hunter x Hunter can do that. Okay. I mean, we can do that so in the modern day. It's called strict that's... mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's what you- I command you myself. I command myself to do it anyway. Unfortunately, I've been watching Hunter x Hunter with my friends in another server. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have any opinion on Hunter x Hunter. I shouldn't have said that. That was very interesting. It's, it's brain That poor man melting. is trying so hard to finish the series. <laughs> Even as his body falls apart. Yeah, it is. That is a sad underpinning to even the most batshit parts of it. Yeah. At least he's probably well taken care of being married to the Sailor Moon author. Yeah, that that's beautiful. They probably have a lot of money. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Also, Eon, we're about to drown. Can you save this? <laughs> we'll float to the surface. It's okay. No, yeah, maybe. Yeah, if he's just on his back, right? That makes it easier to float. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, I know another anime man who thought this too. Do you have anything to do with me, Eon? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was normal. I wish I was so <laughs> fucking normal. This guy would fucking love Nichi Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he watches the daily lives of high school boys and he's like, God, I wish that were me. Sid says, using my final command with the ring, please be happy. So true. <laughs> Boy says, Hunter Hunter is like two parts One Piece but gritty and one part JoJo's. Yeah, I agree. I, I It gets like 
bad vibes fucked up sometimes, but it's not like fate level, so. Right. It's just so you can excuse like, it. this is stupid. <laughs> like, it's, it's either this is stupid derogatory or this is stupid extremely Epic. complimentary. Yeah. yeah. Aww. How sweet of them. They need to get out of here. Yeah, it's fine. It's plot flooding. See, they teleported out. It's fine. F go is wild now? Yeah, probably because you need to F go to the poles. <laughs> oh my god. Save the world. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, Colfus is gonna eat it. That's how he grows up. Tifaria, Anatani Monkunar. I just realized also. This time we should have known Avi was a villain from the start. Hmm. He talks just like Roddy. Yeah. True. He does. Could Roddy originally be from Ferris? Yeah, I don't know, because those are the only two people we've seen have an accent so far. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to reprimand you. <laughs> なぜ自ら国印を刻むような真似をした。自分がどれだけ苦しんでいたか、あなただって見ただろう。<laughs> I Are cannot we... help but read this in your voice. <laughs> Are we reading very? Um, so you're worried about me? <laughs> that's exactly what. <laughs> that's what I heard when I read these words in my mind. Um. <laughs> ah, I hate this well, show. Me? <laughs> Is me? <laughs> Where's the live Torps reaction image? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> That's <Is> you? It's <laughs> <Is> me? <laughs> that <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> Tafali has gone full goblin mode now. Yeah, Eon is reacting to that. It's not yeah. funny. It's like, I always wanted to get a tattoo. I mean, this is a little more literal than I think anyone means that by this to Falia, but I'll allow it. and crutches on and everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, Vilio's leg is in like a huge brace. Yeah. The other two have big car cartoon ice packs on their heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the dragon blood. 
あ、ヴェリアが。おお。じゃあ、次は僕だね。well, gonna so what do you think? Lower like, um, back. I was gonna say like um like right shoulder blade, like in the back. Mm. Oh. That that's pretty slutty too. Okay. Uh, someone with long hair. Ascalia. Wild. I guess also in this way, if anyone tried to use the power, it would suck ass. Yeah. This is definitely less cool than when Tefalia did it in the wake of the, the fight, but um, I do appreciate this. I feel like they gotta fuck it up by doing this, right? Like they gotta break it or something. They can't, this can't be the end. Yeah, I assume it like explodes from this or again, they, I don't know, they just take it back to the king. Since this is a four, does on the back of his neck to be like his idol, <laughs> Agent 47. God. This is like in the first part of Yu-Gi-Oh! where Taya draws the smiley on the hand. I was also thinking this! <laughs> but like, fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luna, we're gonna give you a second one? <laughs> yeah, Luna, you're, you're one of the boys now. <laughs> Sorry, you're just one of the guys. それじゃ、僕はこれからフェルスの人たちと話してくるね。きちんと事情をみんなに説明して。これはもう旅なんて続けなくても、オートに戻ってもいいのかもね。Sorry guys, tour's over after a hot zero stops. じゃあ、この後すぐ戻るか。まさか。だってこのメンバーでもう少し旅を続けたい。Yeah, we're taking a long way around. Look, I'm gonna need a vacation from this vacation. Mm-hmm. You see what we had to do here? <laughs> oh, also to go along with this, we're also all getting piercings now. Oh my god. They're all gonna get a little hair thing too, like Eon. Oh yeah. They're, this is actually just gonna turn into the Brotherhood of the Traveling Pants. <laughs> Actually, it should be siblinghood. I shouldn't just lump the girls in with the guys, even though yeah. they put one of the guys now.
This must be a reference to Tristan's sister in the traveling pants. I don't understand. When's someone going to get waterboarded by their Greek <laughs> grandma? That's, that's really something. Is that what happened in that movie? I remember reading the book and I don't remember that. So. Maybe that was like. Anyway, an beautiful. Yay! Oh, incredible. Uh, we'll, We're we'll, all friends. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sum everything up once we. Uh, once we see the epilogue. Oh, what a great Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm excited for the epilogue. This was, this was so, this was a cool moment. This was not, at, this was not necessarily a cool moment. It was a good moment. If he says clowns win, gotta agree. Uh, this was cool. Also, this song is fun. Yeah, it's very um, modern anime opening. Yeah, except this season. I yeah, I feel like every anime opening this season all sounded like this. They stole it. Everybody. From this game. Yeah, I thought everybody was influenced by Spy Family, but maybe it was this game. Also, clowns always win on date night, as we know. That's right, because we're winners. Yeah, if there's one thing about us... <laughs> one, we're, we're winners. Two, we're, we're clowns. And that's why we drink Huel. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we drink Huel. <laughs> this, this episode is sponsored by Huel and uh, Gamer Subs. <laughs> Get your avocado guacamole fart blast 3000 flavor. Don't mix them together, though. Yeah, don't mix. Yeah, yeah, don't do not mix your, them. <laughs> yeah, because I think you have to pour water into the huel for to to like cook it. It's kind of like, again, it's like instant ramen, but it's for like, I don't know, like sadder pastas. Um, don't put your gamer subs in there. No. It'll turn it into into a. Um... Uh, poison gas. It'll be two gamer. Let's go! Here we go! They're running the restaurant! Okay, what is Escoltia toast? French toast, I'm guessing? It's out of the oven. But yeah, it could be French toast. Um, it could be avocado toast. Maybe like a, like a caprizi something? Bright and colorful. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing it's like uh, it's it's like to tostada esque or like an open face sandwich where each of them yeah. is based on one of the country. Also, <laughs> Liper Frequenter Girl A and B, very good. Oh my god. Honey filled are there. They're not naming any of these things. Uh, they, 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 they <laughs> mods changed my name. Leon. What do you mean now? Uh, oh, Leon's with these with these frequenters. So <laughs> Stop hanging around girl these these teen girls in the cafe, Leon. Get out of here. Also just notice the um the neck tattoo. I don't think I parsed it as a tattoo before. Hey hey! <laughs> Agreed. This is how you deal with him. <laughs> oh, the face is good. へんなこと言うからだ商売がたき食ったら自分の店に戻れよ。Oh right in in fucking Sephora's route he like didn't talk to us for a year and then showed yeah. up and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, sorry i was too busy with all of my, oh my God. becoming governor i'm guessing the situation here is the surprise is going to be that eons in the kitchen 
You know that he's cooking. He's chefing. Yeah, right? like, it be. It's it can't be that he disappeared. Be. What would he disappear to do for a year? Yeah. Rehabilitate Avi? No. Maybe Avi will be the one who shows up. He's in prison <sighs> for a cool. year. He's like, I'm better now. And he's like, dressed different. <gasps> Yo, get this man a ham sandwich and a coffee. What are the labor Outfit? laws here? Outfit? She is 15. <sighs> no, she's still dressed oh, up. Wow. wow. Furia really is the mother who stepped up versus Avi. Yeah. Makes sense. We did flood it. Oh, okay. They did do performances. Oh, wow. Boy says coffee when it's almost closing time. Well, the American tradition is to drink coffee with dessert. I know this guy got a ham sandwich, but like, especially <laughs> coffee. Coffee's your chaser. Coffee and ham, two great tastes that go great together. I that's, always say. What is it? That's um, that's that's what uh, Detective Cooper likes, right? From the Twin Peaks. He likes coffee. He likes cherry pie. He talks about he talks about wanting the... to eat ham with like syrup on it. He likes putting syrup on ham. I don't remember. I remember I remember Francis York Morgan's fucked up sandwich. Right, the center sandwich. Yeah. You think actually that's okay. So of all the countries, which so they've got the toasts, right, based on each of the countries, which one of them is center sandwich? Um uh, Ferris because oh. it's fucked up. <laughs> Mm, it might be fair. Well, but the Cinder Sandwich has, like, sweetness to it. I think it's Orion's. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's probably Orion's because it's a real stunt food-ass move. Yeah. It's for the content. Yubi says, damn good ham, so it must that, that must be a thing that happens in Twin Peaks. <laughs> oh, we all were Luna. <laughs> well, to be fair, all those people deserve to die. Specifically, I mean, uh, Balto. <laughs> well, Zephora is in charge now, and he he's gonna pardon you. Yeah, she's so mature for a for a four, for a fifteen year old. About yeah, probably because of all the trauma. Yeah. Well, yeah, That's right. Lies are just truths waiting to be freed. <laughs> That's what we always say on this stream. Yeah, if there's, I don't know, 25 things that we say on this stream, <laughs> that's easily in the top 25. <laughs> Ingredients I mentioned! Love shopping for ingredients. Nice way to end it. There's some ingredients. For some reason, 
Suddenly, my my braless <laughs> husband arriving unasked with a sandwich. Jesus. <laughs> Where's he on in a kiss the cook apron? Show me. Avi, Eon, Zephora. <laughs> oh, okay. The boys! I'm gonna be honest, I would believe that Eon did not send one because I do not know his status with writing. Mm, I, I, I feel like he either can't or he has, like, impeccable handwriting. Right. It's just hard to say because it's never come up, but, like, he also has been in prison since he was, like, 10. So. Or maybe also, not that young, but... Vilios is written in crayon. Oh, yeah. The Vilios, he actually uh, made Zephora, right? He drew a comic of, of what he wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. No, he does know American Sign Language, so he just wrote it. He just drew all the signs. Mm -hmm. <laughs><笑><笑> Even a moron will get it if you're, if you're smart. Right, have some fucking patience. Oh, it's a Nazi Damn, after a year? Yeah, he lives in like a farm town. This is a yeah. cute picture. We must go here in his room. Yeah. What's his deal? Is he dying? Is that his steal? I wonder why he has to rest. Is he gonna turn into water like 100%? Yeah. He's already 90% water. Maybe, I mean, honestly, I'd believe also he just has to recover from all of the fucking wound hook. I yeah. guess we'll find out. And make judgment on them, because I am your god. Yeah? Also, since says we should send, uh, Ascalia a Gatorade. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Either that or it's ginger ale. Oh yeah. Ginger ale might be too spicy for him though. I was gonna say if it's carbonated, it might fuck with his water scenario. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, she's not worried about Eon, so it must be that they're just holding out the surprise that he works in the back, right? Or he's gonna come home with the ingredients. He's like, I was out getting ingredients. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, there he is! Oh my god, my beloved! Oh my god. The urge to glomp him. Oh my god! I need to calm down. I I want to make contact with my boyfriend. No, Oof. no. I want to give my boyfriend a hug. My boyfriend's giving me the vapors. How improper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. So. Tadaima. Tifaria. あ。今のやりとりは何度目だ。挨拶なしで抱きついてきても自分は一向に構わない。あ、そうですね。She's <笑> Oh, this is cute. It's like a, like a thing. 
That's cute. Aww. Yeah, that's Roddy. Yeah. Oh, he's a different job. Oh, he's so he must be acting as an official bodyguard then. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Well, it's not but he killed Balto, so it was okay. Yeah, I feel like in the case where he killed Balto, I feel like we should be able to forgive him of all other crimes. Yeah, sort of a credit system. Yeah. But what, that he has trauma? Yeah. He was peaceful. I had to fight that. Hmm. How could you bully this man? And then Cole was in this cartoonishly <laughs> large. <laughs> yeah, where he looks like evil, like a yeah. like a baby villain. He's got his cartoonishly large collar, and he just goes up to someone, you know, twice the size, and goes, "If you bully him, I'll kill you." And he pulls out the erase. <laughs> when, uh, I can't wait till we see him grow up. What he, what is he gonna look like when he grows up? He's, is he gonna look evil? All of no. his styling is so evil. I don't think so. He's gonna be all goth still. No, when he grows Is up, it... his uh, clothes also. Same grow hair, white. same hair. You think? Same hairstyle. Also, go off, Cole of this. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Ima da ni yume o mite iru yoda. Masaka jibun ga dare ka o mamoru shimoto nado. I'm surprised he didn't take over the inn, though. Well, maybe he does that the rest of the time. Maybe, yeah. Like, it's just for travel and stuff. Because clearly he's not living at the castle. そうだな。夢じゃない。夢にしてはいけない。仲間との旅も、剣闘士奴隷としての過去も、すべて含めて自分なのだから。I think that's I think that's fair. Wasn't he already tried for these? Like when they rescued him the first time? I don't think he was ever tried for it. Oh, they just like didn't do it. They just Well, wow, the okay. way that Aleste implied it was basically just like they swept everything under the rug and it's like everyone go live your life now. <laughs> uh huh. So I think that nothing ever happened. Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I should also say uh, the government was involved. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming that actually nothing changed and the status quo was kept exactly as it was. Oh, he's got a mustache. Yeah, 
人を笑顔にするために生きる。I love learning. Kyoa Hayagari da Takarna. Kisabisa ni Chojikan. Anata to Sumoser. Let's go play Xbox. Oh, he came up with the toast. Yeah. Oh, Rishiga. Tokoro de Sono Temanua. So he's, he's like chefing in spirit. Yeah. Oh my god, he's jealous. Oh my god, he's experiencing the emotion of jealousy for the first time. という気持ちはあなたといる時以外には抱かない<笑>そんなことはない<笑>いっぱい嫉妬している<笑>なぜ笑う、uh, He's never, he's never experienced that emotion before. <laughs> Can we get that one more time? <laughs> Can we get that one more time? Which one? This? Few I just, few people have called me cute in my lifetime. It's just so funny. He's gonna say, it. Can we get that one more time? 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 Can we get that Big guy, big man. Skida. Aw, they've already <laughs> said that. I know, but still. Aww. Kotoba o tameru nato. So it tadaro. I like that he never uses contractions. Naruhodo. Wakata. Oh, Go in for the kiss! Oh. <gasps> New outfits! Well, for us. God damn, Aww. he just went for it. Well, they've been dating for a year. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. Right here? In front of my salad? Birio touch what I see in a camada. Karen and Nani Karabachibuma. Doconi demo cockets kale. Dunga. So there was Aratanima. Karen and Okotayorimo. Are you going to chill? All we said was we want to hang out with our friends. He'll be okay. He's just never felt it before. Yeah, I was like, he's got to get used to it. I'm not worried about him. No, but he needs to calm down. I'm not worried. I just think he needs to calm down. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to get through it. Relentless, powerful. Like he was an alpha and I was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're like desperately trying to gay up the situation, like we're bailing water out of a sinking boat. <laughs> oh, no, uh, it's uh, 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 AVO! Uh <laughs> Sorry, I actually invented straight AVO, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't erase my work. There's so much straight AVO! <laughs> so fucked. Who would do such a thing? Uh, well, you know the answer. Yeah, straight people. <laughs> Whammy curses, save me, AO3! <laughs> Aww. You're like this all the time lately, wanting to kiss me. What a weirdo.
Eon, what do you want for dinner? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the sounds he makes when he kisses. He's weird. <laughs> he didn't ever learn how. That's oh right. my god. That's why they had to fast forward a year. <laughs> yeah. Because that he had to learn how to kiss. Yeah. <laughs> This man. After having such a family focused route, um, I'm surprised they do give us a horny ending. Yeah. Also, I'm surprised there isn't more of that. Like, where's Spiria here? I thought there would be more family focus, given yeah. his particular tra traumas. I mean, Luna's here, but yeah. it would have been nice to see them all together, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aw. Bean. A second one. Another one. There he is. There he oh, is. <laughs> what a little man. Wow. So the story continues, but not before we talk about our feelings on the route. Let me go pull up an image and I have to use the bathroom to start going. Okay. Um, oh, we're going to use this one because it's the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right go ahead and start and i will, yeah. I will join in awkwardly one time for okay me. when they yeah when they try to draw his elaborate warrior outfit on a chibi body it really like it, it makes it seem more bdsm than it normally looks uh i mean it does i think i think his 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 warrior outfit is really a choice like it it's like it's it's not it's not quite BDSM. I think it's like a Ren Fair costume of someone who is into BDSM, but not like that was not the purpose of this costume, right? Um, <laughs> it's very gay though. Um, so I don't know. E e all of Eon's outfits are like kind of slutty in a way that is kind of funny, like his uh, shirtless collar. Uh, anyway. What a wild ride. Um, I really like Eon a lot as a character. Um, I think that he is, like, realized really well. Um, his, like, moments of, like, discovering his, like, willpower and emotions and emotional understanding that he has not been able to develop due to trauma um, is, you know, is really fun to see. I guess it's very cute, like, that he's like, oh, you know, like, oh, I feel this way for the first time, right? And I, I kind of like the... I understand the horny ending because it's like up until this point he was not able to feel those things, right? He just like w couldn't, right? Like the so to show like oh he has made enough of uh, made enough progress on processing and and living with his trauma that he is now experiencing these emotions that he never had the opportunity to experience until now, which is uh which is very sweet. Um I have, I guess, like, different feelings about, like, the the route overall. Like, Ferris is just so fucked up compared to the rest of the world. And that's still true. And, I mean, I... Uh, it's just, I like, obviously Balto's route was fucked up, but it's not the, it's not the same. The, the whole idea of the underground mind control child slave fighting arena is fucking bananas. It's wild. I, I don't anticipate that that tone will be matched in any of the other routes in the game. It's um, definitely a different kind of bananas than previous. And, and in a game where, like, they don't show blood right like Pascal right. they're like oh he's covered in bleeding wounds and they don't show it right yeah, and they won't but then... draw his hand which is like in this shot right the implication that he grabbed a spear but with his hand yeah with his bare hand so he's like bleeding and yeah. they you know they're not going to show it so 
It's a weird dichotomy of like were they were they stopped from going as hard as they wanted to in the development process? Like, you know, it's like, oh, this is the script, but you're not allowed to show it. Like I I don't know. I, I would say if it's the other way, then um where like this was you know this is ultimately the the mood of the game is not quite so dark uh then i think they could have lightened up on the arena um <laughs> it, i mean like i understand why it's so encompassing but i feel like the the number of flashbacks and stuff makes it feel too much you know like, it's there, it's there very someone's oc yeah, there was, like, a lot of angles to the Sephora one, I feel like, even though we were mostly in the same place. Like, it's like, oh, here's, like, the political side of it. Here's, like, the, the combative side of it. Here's, like, you know, Sephora versus um, Balto and these different, like, intellectual battles. And this one is basically just, like, from minute one, it is all about the ring and the underground arena. Mm-hmm. But I do think that, like, when it comes down to it for the characters, like, Avi and Eon do make really good foils for this. I think that they wrote that part particularly well. Yeah, I I mean, I like, like we've said many times now, I I like Avi's motivation and complexity. I think the, the part where the writing falters is, like, when it sort of gets into the details of, like, okay, you gave him this motivation, and based on that motivation, I don't think he would do all of these actions. Right. I, I definitely think his actions are not necessarily justified, but all of his reasoning and, like, the things that led to this are. Yeah, it could have been stronger if his actions were more tied to that reasoning, right? Like, um, yeah. just like, off the top of my head, like... he wasn't forcing Eon to fight his friends, right? But, like, oh, he still puts him in the ring, but it's like, hey, we're leading them to here so that we can, you know, do whatever. Yeah, I, I think a, a good version, a better version of it that would be more in line with the themes is that he wants to kill a bunch of people in Ferris that never right. received, never got justice. Which and is the where way, we sort of expected it to go. Yeah, and the and the way that he would do that is by capturing them and, and sticking Eon of the, on them. And then that, that would have been, I think, the appropriate level of emotional complexity for yeah. the premise. Because as is, it mostly just seems like a, I am going to force everyone to remember this, right? Which, like, again, his his motivations and everything, I think that his emotional state, again, the, the way it combats against eons is very good. But I feel like the intensity of the thing that he wants does not match the intensity of his action. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really, it doesn't quite map, like, how his actions of having Eon fight in the arena for entertainment matches up with his idea of, like, almost wanting to preserve it as sort of like, you know, like this memorial of this um, horrific deed, right? Like, yeah, it doesn't, it it doesn't like quite line up. If the fight was allowed to happen with the Vilio thing, but he never ends up describing it, which I guess is the big fault. Is like, he describes so much of the setup, that it's like, oh, okay, I totally get him and he's right, except for the parts where he's wrong. But we never really reached that point of like, what was the end goal? Yeah, for Avi, I feel like the lesson should have been, like, you can't continue the cycle of violence. Right. I mean, that's sort of what it ends up being, is like, you know, uh, Avi's too trapped in the past, like, in his trauma, and he refuses to move forward, where Eon desperately wants to, and finds himself incapable, right? Like, Yeah. And ultimately, he is able to find friends who help him move forward, and that's the thing that allows him to... And, like, that's, I guess that's the thing that um, Avi is scared of, right? Avi is scared of the idea that basically, like, if he gets better, he forgets. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, it's like t turning on the people that he killed, specifically his brother. Where it's like, yeah. no, you, that's stuck with you forever. That's trauma. That's not leaving, you know? Yeah. But it's that fear of, like, am I betraying him if I get better and become normal? Yeah, I, I feel, I wish they, they had really focused on that more instead of letting it be implied. Because I, yeah, I, feel, I like feel like that's like something that a stuff. lot of people okay. don't know. Like, I feel like that's a very common grief response, and the, like, 14-year-olds playing this, like, might benefit to know that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the focus, there should have been more focus on the brother part of it. 
Because it's not nearly as big as it needs to be. Or it's not as big as it should be, I feel. I feel like they pulled their punches on that in particular. Like, it feels like there was a different version of this that was, like, much more emotionally intense. It was way more fucked up. Yeah, they just wrote Ignis Route 2. Yeah. And they probably were like, that's a little much. I just, I keep coming back to, like, why mind control ring child slave combat arena? In general? <laughs> like, why did it exist in the- In general. The, right, in, of, like, the first place? Of, compared to all the other cities and artifacts and stuff, like, it just, it seems like, like, two steps darker of a story than anything else that's going on. So it just feels, it, even after all this, like, as, as much as I like the characters, like, it just feels wild that that's, like- <laughs> One of the chapters is just, like, so much more fucked up. Yeah. No, I get you. It's, like, it's definitely, like, this is a real intense turn from the Zephora one, which is just, like, the weirdo uncle poisoned his brother and his brother's Hamlet. wife. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is very Hamlet, except, God, okay. Um, it's basically Hamlet, but epic, because what if... Yeah. <laughs> uncle also got possessed by a fiend. What if Hamlet got or a gun? Evil ghost. Yeah. What if Hamlet? What if they? I gave mean, that's Hamlet basically what he does at the end with the poison, right? Yeah. But yeah. What, if, what the if the uncle was, was actually possessed by evil spirits? Then it would be epic. Um, it was epic when Balto died in this, though. That was this route. That was so funny. Um, the, I I don't know how we the could... Balto dying again. Yeah, it was I, so funny. Really, if Balto uh, dies a third time... I need Balto to die in every route at this point. He, yeah, he has to. Because again, the implication, right, is that in one way or another, we are maybe not solving, but we are pushing forward the plans of every character, right? Like, yeah. we're two routes in, and we are at the idea. Like, we don't really solve eons, but that's because it, it revolves around a magic MacGuffin. Right? Yeah. Ultimately, and like, this is something that we only got introduced to because we're on his route. We don't know about this on our first on that route without going more into detail, right? Yeah. So the basic idea is just like he has a difficulty opening up and he doesn't know how to be friends with people. And we do resolve that by the end of Zephora's route, right? Yeah, everybody gets a little bit of progress. I, that's right. what made us worried when we saw like, oh, Pascalia was sick. It makes me go like, uh oh, yeah. uh oh. So curious <laughs> about that, but like in that case. The only way we solve Zephora's problems in every route is that is Balto has Balto. to die. I know. Because Balto's please, never please. handing over the power. So, like, how else can we resolve any of Zephora's problems if we don't kill Balto? Right? Yeah, I, I can't we wait. Do the year, it's gotta we do the be. Year forward, what's, what's Zephora gonna do? He's gonna be locked in a legal battle with him? Like, no, I don't... that guy's gonna have to die. I don't want to live in a world where Balto was alive. Me either. Yeah, yeah. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> that if we talk about it too much, <laughs> then it it won't happen. Then he like won't die in the next route. Yeah, and then we're gonna be so upset and heartbroken if he doesn't die. Like it's so high risk, high reward. Like I'm I'm so nervous, you guys. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> Will Balto die next time in we'll Pascalia's route? Yeah, we'll take a poll when it comes to it. Do they think that he's gonna die or not? Yeah. Let him let him bet channel points on it. Yeah. Actually, that's the issue is until we know that we actually have to engage with Balto, we won't know. Um, because what if we like it? It would have taken a much longer time to reach that point if we did it on this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so this is the best uh, route so far in the fact, in, in the sense that, like, Zephora's route gets resolved really quickly, even better yeah, than in his actual ending. Yeah, no yeah. issues. Um, okay, Just fucking killed the, him. Here's the other the funny concept, right? Zephora's route does not get resolved, but off screen, he just gets, he just fucking gets <laughs> killed. Like, <laughs> that, no fan yeah, Right? He just shows up back at Culture and it's like, oh yeah, we just revolted against him and beat him to death with hammers. Oh yeah! You know? Okay, that would be funny. That would be funny. They just like fucking storm the capital. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Or, boy is right, what if Sephora does it off screen? Also very funny. I mean, he would have to shoot him with a race off screen. 
Well, or he could steal the thing. Like, maybe while he's, like, I sleeping. Yeah, I, th I, I don't know. It would be funny if every magic item is somehow able to kill Balto. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, that's that's what I'm the most excited about. Um, I, I'm excited about a lot of things, but like the number one, if I'm if I'm telling the truth, it's Balto dying the every, of every Balto time. Dying again. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I like Eon a lot as a character. I think he's written, despite his like super fantastical background, the way that he's written is very consistent and. Mm. Um, Everything that he says and and feels and expresses like makes sense. He doesn't yeah, like think... jump ahead. He doesn't like jump into romance mode. He doesn't like say things out of character. Like everything felt extremely consistent. Yeah, definitely feels like um, for the minor quibbles. I think with this and they're like there are a number of them. Again, we've talked about them, but I think that this was a pretty solid chapter overall in exploring the um the if the it's it's a much better version of the ignis route right uh, we've made this, oh yeah uh, this comparison has come up multiple times um whammer cars won't let us forget about it yeah but it's, it's doing <laughs> we that see him every time we close our eyes yeah but it's doing that sort of thing where like it is about two people with a similar background but they they end up growing out of it in very different ways, and that dichotomy is the thing that causes the general conflict, and I think that they do that part really. Yeah. The, I mean, the fact that this stopped at, like, you know, where there is, the heroine is under threat of violence, but it has a very clear, like, line that's drawn of, like, this isn't that type of game, so we're not going to surprise you with, like, intense visceral violence. Mm -hmm. Cool, good. That's consistent. If it was established ahead of time that this game had more visceral violence, then I wouldn't have a problem with it, right? But it was that like tonal shift yeah. that was bad in Cafe Enchanté. But yeah, I I expect like in terms of like conceptually being fucked up, like this is the most fucked up in its terms of its ties to real the lived reality that we live in, right? But. Mm -hmm. Um, like, in terms of, like, conceptually, like, existentially fucked up, I'm assuming that Vilio's route is gonna take us there. Maybe Roddy's route as well. Yeah. I don't know, there's a lot going on. I, I definitely, again, there's a lot to like about this route, but I do feel like it kind of falls into pitfalls of maybe pulling its punches a bit. Um, both in terms yeah. of writing the villain, right? Like, I feel like we need a lot more. I feel like we could have honestly used a sequence where we just get Avi and his brother more than just the point where they are forced to kill each other. Yeah. I feel like we could have spent more time with investigating that with that, or even, like, being introduced to that concept of Avi having a brother um, when we first meet him. Yeah, they have some dialogue, but I, I also don't like that they, the way that they decided Avi's brother was like, was like kind of stupid. <laughs> so then he doesn't have like a lot of meaningful opinions or characterization. <laughs> yeah, but it's like we get introduced to like Luna's dad pretty quickly about the symbol. Of yeah, and, and we know a lot about him based on his actions. Like uh, he's very humanized in comparison. Yeah. So it feels like it would have been nicer to have um, the same thing done for Avi's brother. Mm hmm something about his a his actions that like tie him to the society that they're yeah. in of like oh he was this he was that too as you know we live in a society yeah i agree that would have been i feel like they they must have really backed off of the like actual maybe they felt like avi like was too sympathetic and they had to kind of dial it back i don't know it's something definitely happened it feels like something happened. It also could be, like, this is somebody's, like, OC that's, like, you know, and world concept, and they're like, oh, now I can finally put this into this game. And uh, it <laughs> ends up not being totally appropriate with the rest of the game because it's, like, their idea from outside, right? Like, from before mm -hmm. the game was concepted. 
And and then they had to kind of tone it down from like the actual like version of like the comic they made when they were nineteen, right? Yeah. But I I don't know I like I I like this a lot. It I think there's a a, a bunch of different better versions of it in my head, um, yeah, we, which I probably spend, like better. We could spend more time but... than we love to. We love to spend time. Um, yeah. Inventing better versions because that's just. <laughs> This is the particular kind of, like, thing we do here. But, like, against that, like, this was pretty good. I, I still feel satisfied by the ending. I feel pretty good about yeah. how everything turned out. Like, there was a lot to worry about going into the ending where, again, it's like, I don't, I, I need uh, Avi to tell me what his fucking plan is, right? I think it's interesting. Let's discuss, I want to discuss the fact that they didn't destroy the ring. And yeah. that, um... I guess the implication is that you just kind of can't. Uh, and then that, I think, because I, I think it was really important that, like, circumstances were clearly bent in the narrative around Eon had to be the one to break the curse himself. It right. couldn't be through other people taking out um, Avi and freeing him. He had to do it himself, ultimately. He had to grab the spear, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, and I thought that was really appropriate. For, and, and you know for that scene and that was the right choice in terms of how to resolve it yeah but i really thought that the the um that like colovis was would take away all of the the magic uh the tattoos um I, so i did think that but i do also i think i do like how that ends up resolving like, I think the idea that they all take on the burden, right? Like, one, to make um, to make him not feel so isolated. But two, to also just weaken the magic in general. Like, do not worry, this can't happen again. Yeah. I basically, just, the idea is, feels... like, once they all die, effectively, there's nothing left. Yeah, it just feels like... It feels like it's a good resolution for them and their characters, but, like, it leaves sort of a weird open question for, like, the nature of this world that, we, oh, sure. <laughs> that we're in. Yeah, like, it, it leaves a different question, but I do like it as a narrative piece. Yeah, it's it's cute. I ha I do have to wonder why, though it's important that to that for like the larger lore of the world that i'm sure we're going to interact with in roddy and vilio's routes yeah. that it definitely could not be destroyed or changed uh in any way yeah i'd like to hear more about what happened to the ring <laughs> like <laughs> I, I, what, what's going on yeah, because they because they just said that they like took it back to Ferris, and it's like, are those the people you want looking at that? Yeah, you think you would like lock it away in the castle? Yeah. It doesn't do anything else other than mind control people. <laughs> it's not like they use it for another thing. Hmm. Very strange. But for these characters, I mean, that was that was good. I would have liked like one or two sentences about what happened to the ring. <laughs> yeah, a little a little more than they gave us. The long term strategy, the long term ring strategy. Yeah. Maybe they'll mention it in other routes. Yeah, well, maybe not because the idea is that the ring's gone or missing before that. Yeah. There's like, uh, no one ever found it. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Yeah. Unless it's gonna be like. Uh, we did find it, and bad news, it turns out he's in a fucking Balto got it again. Yeah, and it's, uh, he got killed, so... Oh, uh, silly Balto. <laughs> yeah. In a, in a different way this time, though. Yeah. God, yeah. Can't wait to find out how, how uh, Balto dies in the next route. It'll be a good time. Yeah, do we we'll want all to be try on the edge of our of, seats waiting. Do we want to kind of try to zoom through the opening bits? Uh, we have ten minutes. I don't know. I think it's probably better just to, just to wrap it, it up and start with Pascalia next week. Yeah, probably for the best. Because, yeah, I think Pascalia makes sense for the next one. Yeah. This man. Him. Gosh how hard they make this all the androgynous twink enjoyers log in next week right
We are here. We are logged on. We are ready. God, look at those boots. Oh my god. The ruffles. Get a load of them. <laughs> this lecherous scroll. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> otherwise it's this. Yeah, slide whistle up. It's Femboy Tuesday, says Whamacars. Exactly. No, it's not. Stop this. We're hooting and hollering next Tuesday. What is? What do you think Pascal's route is is gonna be like? What what kind of? What is he gonna be like as a boyfriend? Um, I think as a boyfriend, I think he's very tender and understanding. I think that he's he's just gonna be like the model boyfriend. Yeah, he's very emotionally intelligent. We yeah, find out. Yeah, he's so. not gonna be jealous. He's not gonna leave us on red for a year. Um. Yeah, ultimately, I guess my my assumption is just that he's like a nice. He's just a nice guy. I wonder what is gonna be the conflict in terms of growing our relationship. Like, what is the thing that he needs to, that, that like both of us need to like work on in order to make the relationship work? Because he right, like because the, the main thing we know about him is that he wants to get his memories back, which fine, valid goal. We just don't know how that manifests right now. I assume. Yeah. Well, the interesting thing is that in the common route, we got more info on. Um, Eon before we got to his route. So I assume the same thing's gonna happen where we get more info about like what does Pascalia remember about his contract with the water spear, right? Yeah. And I think uh, that and that's like, the point obviously where we kinda decide that. There's like, oh, I'm not interested in romance because like obviously I've got more pressing matters going on. Um, mm -hmm. but that's not like that's not like a personal growth thing. So I, I like is he just I wonder like is he just gonna be like shy? Um, or something like that, or, you know, I, it would be interesting to see if, uh, what's, what's the deal with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, Pascalia, I feel like I have the least, well, that's not true. Uh, I, this is now going to be in descending order of I have the least idea of what <laughs> they want or what we're going to do. Pascalia, then Roddy, then Vilio. Yeah. Vilio's is gonna be so fucked. Yeah, Vilio's is gonna go fucking banana. Yeah. Goku ass behavior. Right, yeah, again, he's got kind of like god being behavior. Yeah. He's revealing more and more that he is like a god, and I. I well, don't like I, the implications. Okay. All right, here's my one guess. Yeah. He is the reincarnation of the original dragon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Like, right? he's got to be. Or the, the <clears throat> or child or something like that. Somehow related, right? Yeah. And yeah. He's, he's meant to become friends with Colovis, like, to recreate the creation myth. Right. They're going to do creation, too. They're going to make a yeah. second continent. <laughs> yeah. Because of all the fiends. Right. Yeah, we make a continent to put all the fiends on. We're gonna call it Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how they tried to do it in real life. God. Uh. Yeah. That. It. But like. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Also, Vilio and Colovis's friendship isn't super emphasized in the other routes. So no. we, there's really not any hints here. It's gonna be though. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see it. Yeah. But for now, whew, it's time to go to bed. Yeah, we'll call it for tonight a little early, a little earlier than usual, so y'all can go to go to bed with uh, dreams of uh, the Eon route, I guess. Yeah, a strong man with a huge spear that will carry you away. <laughs> well, he sure is. Oh, this is a bigger <laughs> illustration than Yeah. I like, I like this romance novel this. pose. Yeah. <laughs> It's very romantic. Aww. Look at them. Aww. So cute. Enhance. Yeah, they're kissing. They're kissing, all right. Confirmed. That's right. I do believe it took him a year to learn how to kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why he's so right. excited about doing it. 
That's right. You just like, got the hang of it. Yeah, don't worry. I figured it out. <laughs> All right. Well, then, uh, until next time, when we start Pascalia's round, we figure out whatever the hell's going on with him. Ooh. I've been Chorks Away. I've been TV's Vacuum. And this has been Date Night. And you are the stars. Sweet dreams. And Games Cameron.